you've got money what's up team what's up everybody how y'all doing um it is january 10th and i'm just gonna quickly cover uh you know some recent news and how it's affecting uh you know the average person you know i'm an average person out here just trying to make it you know and uh, it's crazy when we have uh, situations where we are affected by politics and we are affected economically by different uh, you know, regulations and different things that are going on outside of our, uh, outside of our households and, and how that really affects our inside, how it affects our personal finances, our personal economy, and is just giving us even more reason to pursue ways to uh, champion our own economy and be the charge of what we have going on. So, Here's the news. I mean, everybody's heard it by now. I've been talking about it for over a month now. Uh, the possibility of a shutdown. And then when it did shut down, it's kind of like, well, try to tell y'all, try to help y'all, you know. So government shutdown, no problem. And I'm going to show y'all exactly why. And this right here is an article that's available at the YGMteam.com slash blog. Everybody that is a member has their own blog. Uh, this right here is coded to myself. So all the links that you see will um, basically go to my sign up link. And when everybody reads this information, and if they click on this, then they'll go to my affiliate link. And if they're going to your blog, they will go to your affiliate link. All this is basically free inside of your YGM team um, membership. But I just want to get down to it. So government shutdown, no problem with the 2019 government shut down upon us. The Wall Street Journal posted an article that made us all think. It says, uh, in a shutdown, the IRS will take your money but give no refunds. Okay, that definitely had some heads turning, especially people that are anticipating that big refund. Uh, so from late, Janu late January through March of last year, the IRS paid out $147 billion in tax refunds to over 48 million households. Let that number just ring a bell in your brain right now. $147 billion. I'm going to touch back on that. Remind me if I don't, somebody. But um, that money could be frozen if the IRS, you know, delays the refunds. So this year. So just imagine... You know, and it's probably more people now because, you know, more people are of age to work uh, than people that are retiring. So, you know, the, the households that are anticipating a tax refund should have gone up and the actual payout should have gone up as well. So does that mean no tax refunds? Well, basically, if you think about it, you know, with them cutting back staff at the IRS, it says 90 percent of the IRS workforce will leave. This will significantly hold up the process, even for those that file early. OK, so that's going to it's going to put a lot of people in a, in a kind of weird position, because not only are we depending on these refunds to, you know, buy homes for down, you know, down payments on, on mortgages, uh, down payments on cars. Uh, it says right here, other large purchases like home appliances and renovations. Uh, a lot of people like myself, well, when I used to get a refund, I used to use that thing to pay off debt you know, especially from holiday shopping. But now without that, that's going to put some people behind. It's going to delay their financial goals. Another article that we ran across is that government benefits like food stamps, aka SNAP, or SNAP, aka food stamps, I guess you can say. Food stamps will never go away. We always going to call them food stamps. You know, we ain't never going to call them SNAP benefits or nothing. They always going to be food stamps. You know, it goes all the way back to grandma sending you down to go get some milk and she'll go, you know, pinch off a coupon and tell you to go down there. That's why I call it food stamps because it used to be actual little stamps. But uh, but anyway, maybe I'm dating myself here. So you know how old I am. I'm a young guy. Hey, uh, but Congress has not allocated funding for food stamps beyond January 2019. The emergency reserves will basically make it about two thirds of February. So something's got to be figured out before the end of February because that's uh, that's really going to put a lot of people behind. And when and one thing that gets me is people are always saying, "Oh, well, this is just punishing the lazy people." But do you realize that food stamps are really given for households with children? You know, based on how many children that you have. So it's really punishing the children, not punishing the adults. You know, 
I remember being in college, fresh out of college, ain't have no good job or nothing. I applied for me some food stamps. They gave me $70, $70 a month in food stamps. So I can guarantee you that did not make me want to sit down on my tail and not work. (laughs) $70 is not going to rescue nobody. All right. But, um, but it's still working. So we know food stamps shut down. IRS shut down. Uh, that's part of the uh, USDA. Okay. Uh, so what is still working? Uh, we have things like Homeland Security, uh, the Treasury, several agencies, including Environmental Protect- Protection Agency, NASA. Um, but Yellowstone National Park isn't even going to be working. You know, so you got people out of work at Yellowstone. Social Security checks and veterans benefits are still coming out. And yes, the Postal Service will still run and deliver that because U.S. Postal Service has its own funding. That's why you had to pay for stamps and things like that. But hold on a second, Jerry. You said no problem. All I see is problems. It's true. Over 800,000 employees and millions of taxpayers are going to be affected by wallets. That's basically, yeah, it is wallets to me. And I did coin that phrase. But, um, but it's going to basically drive YGM and everybody that has uh, work from home businesses and uh, is, is in the position to recruit others to help free their mindset, to help push their financial freedom forward. It empowers us to drive harder, to push this message about the benefits of having a home-based business. Because listen, as an American, you're in a capitalist economy, okay? That means you have to create the opportunity. Otherwise, you're going to be capitalized on and taken advantage of. And you're going to be left up to the mercy of things like this if you're not creating your own opportunity. The solution is to create your own economy. All right. That's the one thing that you have the power to do is create your own economy. But a lot of people just don't know, how do I start to do that? You know, it sounds like it was going to cost me a lot of money. Sounds like it's going to cost me a lot of time. You know, I'm not that smart. I'm not that bright. Or they think, oh, you mean the, the, one of those scam things? You know, well, look, the government is scamming you. Right now, I want to go back up to the top. I told y'all not to let me forget about this right here. $147 billion in tax refunds. Think about this. How much interest are they paying you on your tax refund? You ain't got to think about it. The answer is zero. They are not giving you any interest. So they're holding all that money. I mean, just think about it. If, you, if they hold $100 billion, they're making the interest on that, not you. They're making millions, millions of dollars in interest because they're investing that money. You aren't, so they are. Okay? So that means that you're already giving away the money to an entity, not getting a interest on it. And now you're not even getting it back in a timely manner. That's a scam. (laughs) That's a scam to me. At YGM, we teach our members how to start a business so you can qualify for the same tax perks as the big corporations without all the headaches of running a big business. Okay, so that means that on average, we're going to help you reduce your tax income, your taxable income by six to nine to twelve thousand dollars. That means that's going to come off the top of the money that they're going to say that you are going to be taxed on that can save people anywhere from three to four to five thousand dollars in cash okay so if you're not taxed on twelve thousand dollars that means that you save three to four thousand dollars in actual cash benefits and that can actually increase your refund you can't do that if you don't have a home business okay we're also we also teach people how to get their tax refund in every paycheck Okay, so you already are giving it away, not getting the benefit. Get that money now. Okay, we show you how to correct your paycheck, mix that with the business and maximize your paycheck at work. So you aren't forced to give your money away to the IRS all year just to have them withhold it. How's that sound? That sound good? Okay, cool. Then we teach you how to generate business income so you don't have to depend on your job for 100% of your income. Okay, so whenever you're working on a job, they can take that away from you. They're for low, they're for a lot of people. That means that they have to either work without getting paid immediately, or that means that they're not getting paid at all. They're not working at all. But because they depended on that job for their only source of income, they are at risk. You have to have multiple streams of income to help create your own economy, plus much, much more. All right. Membership is free. 
you know, just go to ygmteam.com. Actually, you can't get a membership unless you know somebody that has a membership. So just ask the person that invited you to this group for their special link. Sign up is free, but it does cost you a shift in your mindset because freedom is just that. It's a mindset. Don't let the government shutdown be a punishment to you. Let it be a wake up call. Let it be something that's actually going to push you forward and help you to, to seize opportunity and get in touch with me if you have any questions. Jerry Goins, signing out.